We learned of the development impacting our community in, uh, in August of this year. 2021. Um, so what we learned was that they're going to be doing all this construction um, on our road. I live in the Baltimore Street neighborhood um, and I've lived here for over a decade. Um, and we are have learned recently that our neighborhood is going to be impacted by the Point Rustin development. Um, they part of the Point Rustin development um, they have they have to do traffic mitigation for the city and that happens to land on our street Baltimore Street uh, so the proposed plan is to um, add two turn lanes two southbound turn lanes to this street so it's going to widen Baltimore at the intersection and then also include a bike lane southbound bike lane as well as a as well as a northbound bike lane on Baltimore, which Baltimore is a residential road. And then um, they're gonna add new crosswalks, which we would love, and uh, beacons. And then also they're gonna add a turn lane for eastbound traffic to turn northbound onto Baltimore. So that turn lane is gonna widen 46 just here, um, and then it's gonna narrow back up over a little further down. Um, so, and then they're also going to do a block, a, pl a blockade to stop southbound traffic from going down um, 40, uh, Baltimore any further. Okay. Um, what we learned was that the public comment period was actually over a decade ago and we didn't get a chance as a community to say you know what our input was that comment period was included in the entire construction of the development of the development comment period for point rustin which is a huge development um, so yeah we we learned of it not very long ago. And the problem I think, you know, most of us are having is that we already live on a street, 46th Street, which is a minor arterial, is busy and dangerous. Um, Baltimore Street, which is a residential road, has become more dangerous um, since they opened up Baltimore to go down to Ruston Way for the development down there. And, um, there's lots of safety concerns. There's safety concerns with pedestrians crossing the intersection. There's safety co concerns with speeding cars. What is not gonna be good for the neighborhood is this intersection that is driving more traffic down our residential road, um, which seems unnecessary when there is a minor arterial just a few blocks down that connects to Rustin Way that should be focused on and needs some attention.